Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So today I'm gonna share with you guys how to read um Quran in easy way, inshallah, to my best. And we're gonna start from the beginning, which is Surah Al-Fatihah. And before that, I would like to ask you to share my, to subscribe my channel first, and to share the videos to the other people, so that everyone, especially the Muslim brothers, will get benefit from this um and this knowledge inshallah okay we're gonna start now okay first of all we, you will like you will see um there is like a sign um like half um circle or like a present to me so this is like a signal for us to stop um up to this letter so this is like sin so you have to stop like the sound has to stop with this word or with this letter it's not a word okay how so we read it bis just like that bis so we stop at the sound of sin and then the letter after that is actually mim and then you will see like this is uh, we call it shida which is uh, the shida is like you try to um it's like a surprise or you want to stress on this letter which is actually the shida uh, which is the like the symbol of number three so it's like a double um letter which is like for instance if the word is lam so you are actually um the first word is actually the sukun the sukun is actually the like i said before it's like the crescent um which is the sound to stop at that letter and then the next letter which is um a letter with the slanting stroke like regardless on the uh, um on the above above of the letter or below of the letter for instance this this time you will see that Allah the the slanting is actually on the above of the letter but uh, nonetheless you will see uh, for instance in this case uh, you will see this uh, like this uh, this is actually not a signal for us to make it longer but the thing is Allah is always longer uh, like you have to um, you have to make it longer at the words of la here which is two haraka actually so it's like uh, you make it like uh, how do we call it like um, maybe you can say it's, it's sort of stop but it's not stop we just like delay so that it sound a bit longer so how it so uh so this um slanting um signal here so it's actually not um except for exceptional for this word only like Allah other than that um it's actually uh so this this place shouldn't be uh, actually the signal is like this but it's actually uh, should be read for two haraka which is uh, two second but then in other places it's, it's not it's just a normal uh, recitation so we uh, continue bill okay bill so like I said we have to stop on the first uh, on the stop uh, you have to stop like the sound has to stop on the uh, letter which has sukun on it like um, like this one is actually the first lamb because the shiddah doesn't show because when you read when you write the shiddah will actually uh, or already cover the sukun mil la here okay here and then you take to the uh, raw letter here you see here and then you take the, uh, the another sound from the raw which is has Mm, slanting stroke above the letter rah okay see then again this is a uh, sukun here which is you have to stop the sound on the letter of ha and then you continue with meme uh, and then you see um, the meme has um, like two second a uh, symbol which is alif here so you will see like Alif, wow, wow, this is wow, and yeah, third one is yeah. 
so if you see these three letters without a um, slanting stroke or without the comma on the above of the letter so it means the function is to make it long like to make the word sounds longer than normal so the in here is actually the sim the, the small signal which is also a leaf so we make it um the sounds are to be longer like for two seconds Ma, then you take it from the noon near and then take the second row rahim and then you close your lips here so that the sound of mim will come out and um, beautifully so we read it this mil la here rah ma nir rahim don't read it like rah don't, don't, don't try to extend any other words that doesn't have the this the what we call it the signal for us to extend the sound so it's very like the Quran is very precise, you cannot just read it as you like it. Like, um, regardless whether you have a problem with it, um, you cannot just simply try to stop any way that you like it. Okay, the next, the next one is, okay, um, okay, the, you will see like here, uh, the second um, letter is actually lam. So, any, anything that, uh, okay, this Hamza Wasal, when after that after this letter is actually lam so you we have to give it um the slanting stroke at the above which is give us sounds uh okay so the the formula is that when you see the lam after the hamza wasal and then we just give um this um hamza wasal um small um slanted stroke uh, on the above of the letter so we read like al ham okay again we stop it like the sound stop at mim ham do lil okay do lil and then you take from the lam here but then it sounds a bit like not so it's not so heavy like the uh, this one because now the the first lamb here is actually the slant is right at the below of the letter which from the rules it shouldn't uh, sound too heavy like and um, just very very like um like you can you can call it like very lenient like lil you don't you don't read it like lil so it's the difference if this um, letter has the slanted stroke at the above of the letter, so it sounds um, not so heavy, you can call it. But if there is like um, here, the first slam is actually on the fat uh, on the fatha, or actually we call it on the above of the letter so it sounds um like a bit heavy law this mean sorry okay this one is actually this mean as well so you rely on this meme so it sounds um small uh, like not so heavy as well this okay so it's similar to the alhamdulillah okay but this one you rely it's rely on the word of and discuss so not this del Okay, here the first one you see um okay this is like you have to rely on this um um signal or symbol Lilla. make it longer here la e rob okay see the shit the rob bill okay yeah. try to um up a bit your a uh, tip of your tongue touch the what we call it um I think it's um the tip of the palate L L it's very close to your gum I think 
Rabbil Alamin okay. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin Okay, and then we come to this uh, letter. So this letter is known. Then when you want to stop the um, reading here, so it becomes sukun, which is now it's. Uh, you have to stop with this uh, sound to the uh, letter of known. Then you just up your uh, tip of your tongue to um like to for um like the end of the palate or tips of your palate. So um just touch it. Alamin, something like that. Then, oh, uh, like I said, if you see the word lam, just give the uh, fatha or the symbol of um uh, the symbol of fatha, which is above the letter, and then it gives a sound. Give us sounds a. Uh, so it sounds like ar arrah arrah okay ma we have like this small letter what's that letter yeah it's a it's a alif letter ma nir then you try to get this ra nir rahim rahim okay Close your lips and then give the sound of mim. Ma, you will see again uh, this small signal here. Ma, linki, yaw, yaw. When you see this, a uh, word which is wow. And so wow coming from the uh, lips. So you have to make like yaw, mid. Again, this is del. Again, which is uh, they have uh, there is shit there, yeah. Yaw mid din. Okay, then we have to stop um with the sukun. Then you have to up a bit your tips of your the tongue, touching the. I think it's like last palette or tips of palette. Ma liki yau mid din. Okay. I ya I ya kana I ya kana budu i. Bodoi. Okay, you have to stress on this shit again. Wai. Don't don't read it like iya ka na bodo. Don't read it uh, like that. It's wrong. So anything that uh, doesn't have a like a signal or symbol that allow you um to extend the the period um of recitation, like you can hold it. Then you cannot just um hold it like 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 iya ka you cannot do that na budu you cannot do that so just you just continue whatever um if there is nothing in between so you just continue whatever uh the letter comes after that so here iya ka na budu iya so you can hold it here because there is Alif ya, wa i ya kanas. Okay, then you see this signal again. Let me so call half circle here. So it sounds nas. So it's like smile a bit because the scene uh, is a bit flat, like uh, the the, uh, the position of your uh, tongue a bit flat nas. So you have to make it like a smile and face. Next, okay. okay, we complete already the first part. Alhamdulillah, we're going to continue the second part. Right. 
okay you will see something like this again which is does not have any um slanting stroke either in above or below the letter so how to decide what is the um what is supposed to be what we supposed to read then we need to actually um okay actually you, you have um okay this is no lamb right so i said when you see the lamb then you have to read it like um as above like ah uh. so in this case and uh, there's no uh, like okay in this case we read it like e why because we have to read on the uh we have to look on the this uh third letter which is when um okay don't mind i will share it this rule letter so that it will not be so complicated so we just read it like try to memorize it here so we read it this one with the letter of the below the slanting stroke at the below of the letter which e how to read it e with her e dina e dinas okay you take it straight away to the side okay this is the uh ignore whatever comes in between um regardless whether uh, this is like uh, the purpose to extend or to hold the sound you don't you just go straight and to the this word which is sort ihdinas okay sira okay ra is actually have you can hold it here because you see the small signal here sira <coughs> then take the ta to the lam all straight away all uh, don't don't stop it here he did not see law or don't stop it from thought just continue straight away to the lump all must must smile here must crescent tapi okay and then close your um lips so that the sound of me will come out um naturally or perfectly we read it again e d nos don't don't read it like zero e d nos zero almus okay then next zero zero okay tal okay straight away thought with the lamp you see the here we V that is actually the one of the words where or one of the letter where one of the letters where you have to it's like a it's like you try to bite the tips of your tongue V V is like you try to bite the tips of your tongue V na and okay up your tips of your tongue to and touch the i think the the palate and um close your lips the a lay a lay a lay him again which this is uh this is mean close your lips why okay don't don't, don't sounds like alayhim okay don't do that okay it's like a, a signal of like a crazy signal here why real okay to the lamb mar mean to the raw do but and why you have to um like extend the sound because this is the purpose to extend it the sound do be a lay a lay him similar so you, you just um stop it the sound him like that don't don't take like him don't do that well okay you take straight away to the dot well okay here you make it like try to extend the sound 
for six uh, second like but try to cal um, try to like do your own calculation with your fingers can do that Ballin. and when it comes to the lump uh, up your um, tips of your tongue so that um, to the and touch the palate so that uh, the sound of lump will be clear well up Ballin. then again the moon also you have to touch your palate so that um, will sound very clear the words of noon okay let's read together So that's it for me um, today. So I hope you enjoy this video and then you improve your recitation of Al Quran, especially uh, for Al Fatiha, because especially at this Al Fatiha is part of your prayer. So um, they it's gonna be a problem when you recite it in the wrong um, way. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe my channel for you to receive my